Hi ladies and gentlemen, in this video we see an overview of Python programming as a part of scientific computing lab. Let me start with that presentation. So the speech is organized as your learning outcomes, an overview of Python and uh, IPython, interactive Python, then Python 2 and Python 3, SciPy, what is SciPy, what is Matplotlib uh, alias uh, PyLab, then installation on uh, Unix systems, installation on Windows type systems, then your uh, summary of what you learned. What you will learn in this video or you will get introduced to Python and uh, interactive Python terminal. Uh, then you will learn the reason for using Python 3. Then you will familiarize uh, things like uh, modules in Python like SciPy, PyLab. They are, these are scientific computing and data visualization modules in Python. Then you will familiarize the installation of all modules. When you come to an overview of uh, Python and interactive Python, Python is an interpreted uh, modular programming language that supports a lot of object-oriented features. So uh, as, I, uh, as I, I told in the last video, the uh, programming, uh, the language for scientific programming uh, should be interpreted. So Python is an interpreted uh, language, meaning that it's a line-by-line -line execution, not a compiled language. It does not create any executable file then uh, uh, it's a, a modular uh, uh, kind of language meaning that uh, modules are being imported so each python uh, code is called a module so by ins by uh, you, you can work by uh, uh, importing modules so only the required modules need be imported that makes the codes very light and robust it supports a lot of object oriented it's an object oriented uh, programming language everything in python is an object so uh, you, you get that advantage also. Working with the classes, uh, object-oriented classes, uh, that is very advantageous. This language is very suited for scientific computing. It's an open language. So you don't have to pay any money or you don't, you don't have any licensing hassles. Uh, then uh, IPython, IPython, uh, see we, we have a basic Python interpreter, when I type Python 3, uh, you get a Python interpreter, but I, I, I can have some enhanced operations with uh, something called interactive Python or IPython. Uh, interactive Python is an uh, interactive environment uh, like uh, computing environment like uh, MATLAB, uh, command line or IDL or uh, interactive data language uh, terminal. Uh, this IPython is something similar to that. So there are two versions of Python, that is Python 2 and Python 3. Uh, uh, that is uh, uh, Python 2.7 is there, Python 3.6 uh, is there. Uh, Python 3 is not an upgraded version of Python 2. It is actually the versions are Python 2 and Python 3. There's a mistake here, Python 2 and Python 3. Uh, so uh, now, nowadays, uh, uh, both were in vogue, but uh, uh, Python 2 is no longer supported by many OS uh, like Ubuntu, etc. They no longer support uh, things. So nowadays, Python 3 is used for most of the image processing applications, uh, open computer vision applications, etc. SciPy is a, so we, we will be using this in this course. We will be using Python 3. So uh, Python uh, SciPy. Then we will you f you will familiarize with the two modules. As one is called SciPy. It's a collection of functions for scientific computing. Then uh, something called PyLab, alias Matplotlib, uh, that's a high quality plotting library in Python. I told you uh, we, have, we have to have good routines for uh, fast routines for uh, array multiplications, vectors, and matrices. So SciPy is a collection of functions or subroutines for such computations. And, and I told you in the last uh, video that we have to have a good publication quality plotting library. So that, that is accomplished by Matplotlib, alias uh, PyLab. What is SciPy? SciPy is a collection of subroutines for engineering and scientific computations. Atlas, it's a, there are the, the something called Atlas or automatically uh, tuned linear algebra package, LAPAC or linear algebra package routines are there in SciPy. So some of them are Fortran modules, all the Fortran modules, they are integrated into Python. Then uh, you have NumPy or numerical Python. You see array manipulation is possible with SciPy and uh, something called numerical Python. If you take a closer look at SciPy, the modules are like the SciPy basic packages, the, the FFT operations, fast Fourier transform packages, they integrate, interpolate, IO, lib, linalg, optimize, part, special, so many modules are there in SciPy for uh, computations. As third semester students, you will come across this as you go to higher semesters. 
PY lab uh, is uh, uh, nothing but a uh, plotting library. Uh, it, it provides publication quality and highly as plots with uh, PostScript and PDF outputs. So you can export these plots as PostScript or uh, PDF. Uh, so since it is PostScript of PDF, it is very easy to integrate with your LaTeX documents. It offers better plots than uh, MarLab uh, or IDL or uh, SciLab. Okay, and you you get access uh, uh, fonts for in LaTeX. LaTeX font for access and text. So advantage is that you may be writing your journal paper in LaTeX and uh, uh, when the access text comes, if that is in a different uh, font set, uh, th that will look unappealing. Uh, so you can have LaTeX font for access uh, uh, text, uh, etc. Uh, access names, text, etc. So that will integrate very well with your uh, remaining of the, your LaTeX document. Installation on a Unix type system, Python is available in all uh, Unix uh, distros like uh, Linux uh, distros like Ubuntu or Fedora or Debian or anything, Python is uh, available both 2.7 and uh, 3 is there, but uh, Ubuntu has stopped supporting 2.7 so oh, Python 3 is available in, in any way all uh, standard distros. Additional modules can be either with a binary that will be difficult or you can do with an update manager. Suppose if you have a, a M based system like a Fedora or uh, Fedora or Red Hat, uh, they are a M based systems. M is the update manager, something called Yellow Dog Updates Manager. So you simply go to the terminal type uh, M install IPython3. Uh, yum install scipy, yum install uh, python matplotlib, uh, it will install everything. Oh, of course, you have to become the root user in a, a Red Hat or Fedora type system. First, you have to switch as a root user and then type uh, yum install ipython3, yum install scipy, yum install python matplotlib, and uh, it takes from the uh, system, uh, the update manager takes these uh, things from the repositories and install them in your system, and there you are ready to work with that. But if you are using uh, uh, other uh, systems like uh, Fedora, uh, like an Ubuntu or Debian, uh, they are app based systems. So in that case, you have to go to the terminal and type uh, sudo apt-get install ipython3. Sudo is also needed. Sudo apt-get install ipython3. Sudo apt-get install scipy and uh, sudo apt-get install python matplotlib and everything will be installed. In the case of Windows, you can go to python.org, www.python.org and you can uh, have these .exe files for various modules and you can install them. Or you can download a bundle such as Anaconda and install everything from that. Okay, you download a bundle of Anaconda bundle and uh, uh, it's a bundled kind of distro, everything is there, so you install everything from that. So what you learned in this session are you got familiarized with Python and IPython, you understood the reason for using Python 3. Uh, you familiarized the SciPy and PyLab, at least you know the names and structure of that. What is it for, you know? Uh, SciPy is used for the uh, scientific computations and PyLab is for uh, some scientific computations and plotting libraries. And you familiarize the installation of all modules. And that is the end of this session and I thank you all.